Bitcoin miners, our companies, are a match made in heaven. One of the ways they cooperate with the grid is to reduce their operations when the grid gets increased demand. In this video, we'll show you just one of the ways that LuxOS can make that happen. Today, we'll demonstrate how to use the LuxOS curtailment command so you can respond to grid demand with your mining fleet. The curtailment feature enables two key actions, sleep and wake up. Sleep mode turns off your hash boards so only the control board and fans consume power. Wake up swiftly brings your miner back to the operating parameters it had in place prior to the sleep command. Now we'll conduct a quick demo. On the LuxOS GUI, you can see the hash rate chart for the S19J Pro running in my garage. The five minute hash rate metric gives us real time performance data. Also, you can see the real time power consumption at the wall by looking at the Smart PDU GUI. The first step to issue curtail commands is to log on and get a session ID. This ID prevents conflicting commands from different sources. In the bottom right corner, you can see we're using the echo command, which you can find in the video's description. Remember to replace the IP address with your miner's IP. Now we'll run the curtail command with the sleep parameter to put the miner to sleep. Use the session ID returned from the logon command instead of the one you see here. As you can see on the dashboard, the hash rate drops almost instantly as the miner enters sleep mode. You'll also notice after I refresh the PDU GUI, the power consumption has dropped to about 25 watts. While you're in this state, you can still issue commands to modulate the fan speeds manually. So if you're in a cold environment, you may turn the fans off while in sleep mode to ease the wake-up sequence from a thermal perspective. As grid pricing improves and you're ready to bring your miners back online, you can use the wake up command to restore operation. Again, use your session ID, not the one shown here. FYI, session IDs expire after one minute, so you may need to log in again. Looking back at the dashboard, you can see the hash rate ramping back up as the miner resumes operation. It takes slightly longer than the sleep mode, but it's quite quick. To wrap things up, we'll use the logoff command to end our session. It makes sense to do this any time you know you won't issue commands for an extended period of time to avoid expiring sessions. Now this was just one of the innovative ways LuxOS enables Bitcoin miners to scale their power consumption according to power prices. Another is to utilize voltage and frequency step size to rapidly scale clock speed rather than fully shutting off individual hash boards. Thank you for watching. Please contact us on Twitter, Discord, Telegram, or through our support link if you need any help with this function or any other. Happy hashing.